Hi, my name's Stephanie from Thrive Themes, and in this video, I'm going to take you through exactly how I made the light box for the wedding planner review video. Now, this is a multi step, multiple choice light box that shows a different opt in offer based on what the visitor clicks. I'll show you how to set up the buttons in Event Manager to display a different opt in offer depending on what they click on. This is the form that will pop up on the website and the visitor can either choose yes I've got it handled which will lead them to an opt-in guide for tips for planning a wedding. If they click on the other option which is I need some help planning my wedding it takes them to a contact form. So this is all within the Thrive Leads light box and I'll show you exactly how to create that now. Navigate to your Thrive Leads menu within your Thrive dashboard and create a new light box. Just choose any template since we're going to delete everything on it anyway. And now I have a blank slate to create my own multi-step light box. The first thing I'm going to do is add a title just by dragging in a text element. Now a really big tip when you're designing these opt-in forms and also your website is to keep the color codes of all of your elements in a separate document. So you can easily navigate to that document, copy the color code, and apply it to whatever element you need to. This way you know it will be the exact shade that you need it to be. And now I'm gonna show you a quick trick that you can do with content boxes in order to get this box around your button and icon. It's actually quite easy and it's just playing with margins a little bit. So I'll drag in my content box and I'll just put two in there for now to get an idea of sizing. Now I want the border to be the shade of blue that we've been using in the entire design. So again, I will copy the color code that I have for the shade of blue and paste it in here. That way it's going to be the exact shade that we need it to be. And now I'll add an image box so I can have that icon up the top of the content box. So as you can see here, I've actually included a bit of a white border on this icon, and that's so it shades out the sides of the content box. You have to make sure that you have the correct color, so the background color of the light box. Uh, this one is just plain white, so it's nice and easy, but again, this is where those color codes come in handy. If you have the right color code, it'll match the background perfectly and you won't be able to tell where the image ends and where the background starts. So I'll show you what this effect looks like. And I haven't actually changed the background color yet. So I'll do that now and I'll center align this. And this is how you can get it to overlap. You just need to play with the margins. So that's not high enough. So I'll just put it negative a little bit more, not quite centered yet. And I'll just add a text element in here and play with the sizing and colors. And another little trick to make sure that your light box looks exactly the way that you want it. If you can't get a button looking the way that you would like within our software, you can actually just create the button in another program and make sure that the background is transparent. Upload it as an image, as I'll show you here, with the text already inside of it. And change the margins. That's perfect. So now this image is actually going to be our button. There are endless opportunities for this because you really can put whatever style and whatever text, whatever images you'd like in your buttons if you just upload them as an image. Now I'll show you how you can turn this image into the actual button that takes them to the next step in the opt-in. But first I'll duplicate what we've done here so we can put it over to the other column. So you just need to duplicate the actual content box because although it's coming out of the content box, you have to remember that all the elements are actually still encased inside of the content box. So copying just this one box will copy all of the elements across. And as you can see, it's actually messed up the alignment because there's more text in this side. If we go into the text margins and add a negative 10 on the left and a negative 10 on the right. Need a little bit more. 
you can actually make that text fit in. So I'm just going to play around with a couple of the margins now to make sure it looks as good as it can do. So I'll save the changes and leave this one as it is for now. And in order to create the light boxes for once they click these buttons, we just need to add a state below. Just add a new state. And this will be our opt-in guide for tips for planning a wedding. Now in this light box, we used another shortcut and actually created all of the text and the formatting for this opt-in in Photoshop. So you can use any photo editing software that you have or text editing software. And we actually created all of this text with a transparent background. So rather than creating the opt-in form from scratch, we just need to drag in this entire image and it will make up the whole opt-in form. So it's just copied the entire light box. So I'm just going to delete these columns here. So I'm just dragging in a new image. I'll get rid of this text. And as you can see here, there is no background on this text. So I'll select this and insert it. And it looks exactly as if we had created the text in Thrive Leads, except everything's all together and we don't need to play around with any borders, any margins or any images. So if you just want it to look a specific way and stay that way, this is a good option for you. One thing to be aware of when doing this though is how it looks on mobile. So this one's actually all right because you can still read the text and it stays together, but just be aware it won't dynamically reformat based on the screen size. So be a little bit careful with that one. So now we have the details of the opt-in offer. We just need to create a place where they can enter their email address. So drag in a lead generation element. We want it horizontal. And we want that button color to align with our brand colors. So again, we'll go back to our sheet and copy the maroon color that we have. So let's take a look at how we're going compared to the original. Everything's pretty much the same apart from this two colored background we have for the light box. Now, an easy way to do this is to actually create an image that has these two colors on it and then upload the image as the background. So I'll show you how to do that. So first you need to take note of the max width of your light box and create your background image to the same dimensions. Then we'll select background image and choose this background. We just need to change the paddings a little bit in order to make it all line up. Make sure you link up your lead generation box to your email service provider. And to really segment those leads, we recommend you either add a tag or add your new subscribers to separate lists based on which opt-in they ended up clicking on. So for the guide, they're clearly not ready to commit to a full consultation yet. So you'd want to add them to a general newsletter list. Whereas for the second opt-in, the help me plan my wedding, you'd want to add them to a different list in which you contact them right away and send them content on actually booking the wedding planning service. So I'll save the changes and then we'll create the other state that you'll see if they click on the right column, which is the, I need some help planning my wedding. Add another state. So again, we'll just delete the copied elements and change this text. Now we're going for a thin, long light box for this one so the visitor can progressively put in their details. So I'll change the max width to 500 for this. So this is an image of two lines and a heart in the middle and a transparent background. So we'll add the next section of text below and add the lead generation. So we'll link it up to the service add whatever elements we want. Again, we'll change that button color to our brand colors. An easier way to do this is to add this to your favorite colors. Now it's just about ready to go. We just need to add the two-toned background color, which again, we've done through an image. And as you can see, it doesn't perfectly line up. So we'll just play around with the margins again. Perfect, so we'll hit save on that one and I'll show you how to connect them all up. Head back to your default state 
And the last step here is to link these two buttons up to the separate states. So you click on the image or the button if you decided just to drag a button element in and go to your event manager. Add an event and select the trigger to be a click. So once they click on that image or button, you'll tell it to switch states. And we want it to go to the first state, which is our opt-in guide. Save the event and close. So now when they click on this first option, which is the I've got it handled, I'm just looking for some inspiration, they'll go to the first state, which is a wedding planning guide. Just link up this second button as well. And I've selected the second state. So we'll save the changes and have a look at the flow of this whole light box again. So this left column goes to the first state that we created and the right column goes to a contact form. There you have a multiple step, multiple choice light box.